first of all, they will become more interested, especially for the background information. Actually, Ms. Lam is really a teacher in a school that teach them science last year. So they know that Ms. Lam is actually really suffering from the stomach always. Yes. So they will be interested in this topic and then they may will they may search your information by themselves. So they can be more interested and then search the information by themselves. They may have a higher motivation. Okay. And after they have prepared themselves then during the lesson I can have a less my part a fewer my part. For our suggestion, we suggest that Ms. Lam can divide the pills into smaller pieces and even chop it into powder in order to increase the surface area of the pill that is exposed. Also, if the antacid is in liquid form, we suggest to increase the concentration of the medicine by removing the part, the, the part Remember, part the water in the solution. Part of the water, sorry. Part of the water, sorry. Um, because um, increasing the surface area, like dividing the pills into smaller pieces, can increase the reaction weight. Rate. For example, a larger marble chip takes longer to dissolve in acid, and if if the marble chips is um, cut or divided into smaller pieces, the reaction rate will increase. Uh, the antacid could be effective faster because increasing the concentration can boost the reaction rate. When the concentration is higher, it means larger number of molecules or ions in the reactant. The chance of particles colliding with each other will be greater. Therefore, increasing the concentration makes the reaction go faster. But um, just for just some reminder, um, P, um, increasing in concentration may lead to um, increase in pH value, so um, there might be a chance that the, um, the medicine become corrosive, I guess. So, okay, so thank all. you, this group of the sharing. Because they have already learned something by themselves already. And then what my major focus is to ask them to present what they have searched and also to introduce some really new concept to them, just some supplementary information to what they have searched, and then they can actually learn by themselves. Most of the part is just themselves. Dissolve Next thing, okay, so actually you have two students at least okay, to cooperate together. Okay. So the one okay, with the water, you have to make the machine scene become full of water first.
maybe problem based learning, maybe seems there are a lot of preparation work for students to do, but um, I think this is worth doing because if we prepare the things, then the teacher actually they, um, do less during the lesson. Yes. The teacher will do less during the lesson and then the student can have a higher motivation to learn and during the lesson the teacher can just um, add some more supplement information to them okay? and then they can learn more happily with the background but not just listening to the teacher okay? and then also if we have carried out for the problem based learning for one time then for the next time it will be smooth, more smooth okay? and although the first time may be lots of preparation work but the second time will be much more smooth and then this is worth to do so Yes. I prefer the students to uh, to work more in just the PBL lessons because we can have a chance to uh, find information by ourselves but not directing giving having the information given from a teacher so that we can learn by ourselves and it is more fun to do so. They still have direct teaching, you know, in classroom, like most of the you know East Asian lessons, you know. But we we do projects, others. Sometimes now they're emerging a new way it's called the code constructing way, which is using the E, which Koreans been doing quite well, the E learning. We have to have some health warning to, um, to, to the school saying that you don't need to do all. You, what you need to do is maybe do one and quantity uh, is not the things that you need to go for. So then this is the way the Hong Kong, in Hong Kong style. And now most of the students have been undergo the, the reformed primary and secondary, uh, 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 all these kind of experience, uh, these kind of project learning types of experience. Now they're entering university with more uh, more confident and as far as from our some of our study we found that um, they they are the ones who like to ask questions and they like to uh, they have no problem in research they have better we call it information literacy so these these are the things that I think they change their whole idea of what is meant by learning